सो हेलो एवरीबॉडी दिस इज दिव्यांशु एंड आई एम हियर टू शेयर माय एलपीएससी स्किल टेस्ट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ 2021 आई हैव क्वालिफाइड रिटर्न टेस्ट विद द 249 मार्क्स आउट ऑफ 280 मार्क्स 288 मार्क्स एंड माय स्किल टेस्ट वाज ऑन 14th ऑफ जनवरी 2021 सो टुडे आई विल टेल यू ऑल द क्वेश्चंस एंड स्किल टेस्ट पैटर्न हाउ वाज इट so actually uh, firstly we entered the uh, into the lpsc center and we went to the recruitment section there we completed our, completed our document verification there and then after after the document verification they took us into the conference hall there uh, different scientists have instructed us about the pattern and how all will be conducted and then uh, there on that place also they to cover uh, written test of 50 50 marks actually our sex, uh, our skill test was divided into the three sections section a was of 50 marks that was descriptive written type paper and then section b was of 20 marks and that in that we had to identify different mechanical parts uh, that was there was 20 uh, 20 20 parts having the 20 marks and then the section 3 were was on the basis of uh, practical approach questions and observations and ex- some measurement questions so i will tell you in details about that so firstly come to the written section so in that question uh, in that section they asked uh, total nine questions of 50 50 marks different questions were having different different marks so first you can see on the screen question one was of uh, we have to find the weight weight of the hexagonal section bar so hexagonal side was given and length was given and density was also given you have to just calculate the volume and multiply by density and find out the weight okay so the first question was of 5 marks second question was based on the engineering drawing question and that was orthographic question we had to draw the elevation plan and side view of the given figure there was there was simple uh, simple uh, simple figure uh, mostly block were there and some taper section were there and the question 3 question 3 was similar to the uh, 13th january skill test question and that in that question we had to find the force horizontal force acting on the mass of the given figure figure was given you can see on the screen that was of four marks and question 4 question 4 was based on the coasting coasting type question there the figure was given and we had to find the perimeter of that figure and multiply by the rate and find the coast that question was also of five marks yeah so question 5 let come to the question 5 question 5 was similar to the 13th january question Uh, it was exact question uh, we have to find the uh, we had to write the uh, zones of buildings uh, like same question it was same totally same question we had, there were three zones uh, means heat affected zone fusion zone and unaffected zone we had to write the name of zone just so the que- that was of yeah i think three marks was and the question 6 question 6 so was we had to write down the name of two work holding device of lath machine lath machine so just like six jo chak four jo chak and call it mandrel you can write there that was of three marks and then the seven question was uh, we had to write down the assembly procedure of the given figure some component was given there and figure was so you have to write there how to assemble them okay so that question was i think of 8 marks yeah and then come to the question 8 question 8 was we had to make the uh, manufacturing process plan for the given component one fi- uh, one figure was given and there you have to prepare how to you have to write the how to prepare this component on the machine so you have to write the procedure and you can see the uh, figure on the screen this question was of 10 marks okay so question 9 question 9 is question 9 was on based on the renold number you have to calculate the diameter i think ha huh? yeah diameter find you have to find you had to find the diameter 
so total nine question were there and you had uh, total marks was 50 minutes and the duration of the test was one hour okay so then uh, we went to the uh, ident part identification room and there we have uh, that test was of 20 marks and there were 20 parts mechanical parts and one part per one question okay so the part were similar to the 13th January questions some part were changed and but mostly that was same okay like uh, their parts name let me write that uh, compile that first part was uh, clutch flat and bevel gear spring uh, three types of uh, no, no, no three types of bearing means roller bearing ball bearing and uh, needle bearing and uh, mm, puppet valve and machining uh, machining you have to write the machining process based on the finish of the product and then rivet screw and different part were there so there were total 20 parts you have to write the just name of that parts okay so that was of 20 marks and the time duration was 30 minutes okay then after section C, section C was having the six questions and uh, the time was given 45 minutes, yeah, seven, seven minutes for each questions. And in that, in that section, they asked the, about the practical approach questions. You have to uh, use your practical knowledge to solve the questions like, uh, means most, mostly every question was same in the earlier sessions. First question was, um, yeah, you have to find the density of the given bar. There were one copper, uh, copper cylindrical bar, and vernier were also there, and you have to find and weight machine was also there. You have to find the weight and calculate the volume, and you have to uh, find out the density. And then the second question was similar to the thirteenth, thirteenth January question you have to find the uh, stiffness of the spring by placing the weights on that and measuring the deflection and the third question was uh, based on the lathe machine so yeah, similar question but question was little changed uh, means they asked in the 13th January they asked about the head stroke and tail stroke but in the work session they asked about uh, spindle sorry uh, work holding device means three jo chuck were there and lead screw and compound rest different uh, parts was marked on the uh, model you have to write just name of the what is it and then the next question was uh, single point cutting tool were placed at the particular position you have to find you have to write down the name of the marked angle if they mark the some angle you have to find, uh, write just name what is what angle is it okay so the next question was uh, there were actual model of the some simplest com uh, simplest component you have to uh, draw the orthographic views in the third angle projection method in the actually in every session mostly they asked about the third angle projection method okay so the next next question was uh, what was it Yeah, that's it. I I remember this, and I have said. So hope so you you got the point, and uh, you will perform better in the next uh, next skill test. It will be helpful for you all. But uh, listen me, this is only valid for the LPSC skill test. So for the different center, the pattern may be different. Okay. So thank you all. Thank you. Bye.